aloha thursday everyone and welcome to cash me in paradise my name is jocelyn i make cash envelope stuffer and budgeter here in hawaii for those of you that are new to the channel aloha and welcome and for all of my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support what's good youtube fam how's everyone's week going so far it's thursday which means i have another cash stuffing video for you today yeah <laughs> in today's video i will be going over my budget for paycheck number one of october see how much cash i have left over from paycheck number two of september see how many youtube likes i got from last week's transfer thursday video if you're having a great day so far, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. All right, let's jump right into my weekly check-in for paycheck number two of September. So we left off over here. So I actually had two back-to-back -back no spend deeds on Thursday and Friday, which is awesome. On Saturday, October 2nd, we went to Down to Earth, which is a local health store that sells like vitamins, produce and everything like that. So I ended up buying a $10 um, juice smoothie. On Sunday, I spent $20 at the farmer's market. On Monday, paid for it. I ended up buying my um, friend coffee at work. Tuesday, we had sushi, spent $10. Love sushi. <laughs> On Wednesday, I did have another no spend date. And then today, Thursday, um, I won't know until the following week to see if I spent any money here or not. So I did do fairly well this week compared to last week. You recall last week I did do more spending than normal just because I celebrated my best friend's birthday, but I did um, do a lot better this week. I was more mindful of where my money is going. And of course, because I didn't have any money to spend on myself, <laughs> I didn't do any spending, which is awesome. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and see how much cash we have left over in each of my cash envelopes. First up, we have groceries. So groceries, I normally budget for $70. Nope. I have $5 left over. Yeah. <laughs> Gas, I normally budget for $50. And I have $10 left over. Let's go ahead and put that off to the side and I'll show you what I do for that in a moment. Pumpkin, normally budget for 60, but didn't really spend anything on her. Um, and Lily Koi, so I had $50 left over. Yep, spending. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Pay it forward, I spent $10 for my friend's um, coffee at work, so I have nothing there, as well as nothing in drinks and eating out. So this wasn't my best um, check-in as far as leftover cash, which is fine. You know, there's going to be weeks where you spend money and there's gonna be other times where you save money so as long as it balances itself out you should be fine so 50 60 and 65 all right and i'll put this off to the side over here and i'll show you what i do with that later on in the video all right so i have my coins next and as you can see i have some coins left over from the week which is awesome and what i plan on using the coins for is I'm saving them up and at the end of the year I will take all of my coins to my local credit union they have a coin machine where you can just run it through you don't even have to roll it up or anything like that and I plan on paying off the balance of my care credit card and the reason why I don't pay it off like right away is it is still at a zero percent interest so I do have until March of next year to pay that off before the interest accumulates but for now, I will um, slowly make payments towards that, but we are almost done. But I will go ahead and speed this up and I'll be right back. Well, you guys, we're starting to make more progress. It's not as lonely as it was last week. So super happy that, you know, I'm starting to see more progress here. I know it's not much, but, you know, over time, coins do add up and yeah, every penny counts. 
right, next up we have my $1 savings challenge. And anytime I get change back from the store and dollar bills, I always put it off to the side so I'm not tempted to spend it. So this week I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one dollars. Who's ready to go to the Dollar Tree store? <laughs> Kidding. Hawaii, we don't have a Dollar Tree store. Oh well. But wow, you guys, look how crazy and how quickly it adds up. This is just two months worth of dollar bills. I'm guessing there's at least, gosh, maybe 120, 140 maybe. But yeah, didn't realize that saving up your dollar bills over time adds up quickly. All right, now that we're done with the month of September, we can move right along into October, paycheck number one. And quote of the week comes from Winston S. Churchill, and it says, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And what I love about that quote is, you guys, it just encourages you that if you fail, you know, just pick yourself up do it again over and over and over you're gonna run into times where you want to just give up or you feel like you know it's not worth it but you guys the hard work that you put in now you'll reap the benefits later on so never give up so moving along here I have my fixed expenses and monthly bills um, I basically divide all of these by two and they are electronically taken out of my checking account every month so every paycheck I budget for $275 for rent, $50 for my cell phone, $17 for my car insurance, $25 for my Northwestern Mutual Roth IRA, and $60 for Electra. So these up here I do not take out any cash. And then down here for my cash envelopes I budget for $170 for groceries, $50 for gas, $60 for my two cats. $40 for spending, $20 pay it forward, and drinks and eating out is $60. Next up, we have my sinking funds, and these are categories that I plan on saving up for either in the short term or the long term. So for example, up here, I have like my car maintenance, my emergency fund, LASIK eye surgery, my three beautiful nieces, and then down here in my future binder, um, these are like some of my investments and my electronics that I'm planning on purchasing in the near future. Um, subscriptions, health, uh, YouTube, taxes, for example. So basically every month I kind of reevaluate. Um, I haven't actually been thinking a lot lately that I want to, you know, redo my budget either in the next couple of weeks or even as the year, new year approaches. Um, just because, you know, my goal right now Number one is to save up for my down payment for a house. So I really do need to keep my budget really tight. So I will be most likely making some changes. So be on the lookout for that. All right, you guys, I'm back from the bank. So we are gonna be working with $1,410 today. So I have to get out and give it a count. 100, 200, 350, 450, 550, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1400, 5, and 1410. First up, we have my cash envelopes. Um, these are categories that I spend money on a weekly basis, just kind of like my necessities. Um, first up, we have groceries, and it will be getting its usual 170. So I have 100, 150, and 170. 
And this past weekend, I was actually able to visit my local farmer's market with my cousin and my auntie. And they had so much fresh fruit, you guys, and uh, produce. It was amazing. And I love farmer's markets just because I know I'm supporting local and I feel like the produce is always a lot fresher. And I recently read an article that stated that 85% of our food is imported from the mainland. So I think it's extra important to um, not only shop local, but to also support our farmers here as well. Next up is gas. And gas is gonna be getting its usual $50. And I've been pretty good at, you know, not going over budget for this category. I always seem to have leftover money there. Next up is for Pumpkin and Lily Koi, and they will be getting $60. 50 and 60. And they still have some food left over, so I think we're doing fairly well. All right, next up is spending. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I was so bad. I spent so much money. 20 and 40. <clears throat> but it was all worth it though. It was, um, I had a lot of fun just hanging out with my best friend. Alright, uh, Pay It Forward is going to get its usual $20. And it's super important to pay it forward and treat everybody with kindness. And the last category is going to be drinks and eating out. And it will be getting $60. $50 and $60. And I might also reevaluate this category. I do want to try my best to, you know, continue to eat um, at home as much as I can. So that way I don't waste food. And I also want to keep my budget again as tight as I can, just because I am striving hard to get that um, down payment for my house. All right, that's gonna do it for my cash envelopes. So they are fully stuffed, ready to go. Right next up, we have my aqua blue binder. And first up is my new car. And it usually gets 100, but I have been sticking to just $50 just because I want to pay off that care credit card. So I've been sacrificing money here to go ahead and pay that off. All right, so we now have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 20, 40, and 650. So my Camry Sport car is fully paid off. And I'm not in a rush to, you know, buy a new car anytime soon. But I do want to be prepared for that. Next up is car maintenance, and it's going to get $50 as well. And I just recently had my car checkup, so on my regular maintenance. So now it has 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, and 240. I swear, car repairs always happen either at the worst time or when you're least expecting it. Right, next up is my emergency fund, and it's gonna get $100. So my emergency fund now has 1,000, 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,300, 20, and 40. And so this is a $1,000 placeholder and it's represented by all of the money that I have in the bank. So I still want to keep funding this category. I just think it's super important. You never know what may arise and you just want to be prepared for that. All right, next up is home. Home is gonna get $30. All right, so now it has 100, 200, 20, 30, and 240. And I shared in my previous video that at work they installed my new desk. And it basically is height adjustable. It can go up and down. I love it so much that I've been actually doing my own research on different brands online. And I recently found out from Cherie's channel that Costco sells it. So I'm most likely gonna uh, take a look at that. 
All right, next up is birthdays, and birthdays is going to be getting its usual $25. And I'm actually pretty prepared just because I just recently finished up the savings challenge for my three beautiful nieces upcoming birthdays. So I actually don't really have too many birthdays that are upcoming. So 100, 20, 40, 45, and 150, which is awesome. Next up is LASIK Eye Surgery, and it's going to get $25. Yes, and I'll have $100, $150, $170, $190, $195, and $200. So we're making progress here. And hopefully within the next one and a half to two years, I'll be able to do the surgery. But I'm still doing... A lot of my research just to make sure you know that's the right thing for me right next up is beauty and beauty is gonna get $25 all right so now has 100 150 170 and 175 and I do want to get my hair trimmed soon right next up is sky and sky is also gonna be getting her usual $10 She now has 50, 70, and 80. I actually started shopping for her birthday present, so I will be done with that shortly. Right, and her sister Hoku will also be getting $10. So she has 50, 70, and 80. Next up is um, Leah. Leah will also be getting $10 as well. $50, and $80. And it's so cute, you guys. They went to the, um, the apple picking orchard. So cute. They sent me so many photos. I wish I could be there with them. All right, last category is Debt Snowball, and it's going to be getting $250. So we have $100, $200, and $250. And my goal this month is to add an extra $500 to that balance of my care credit card. All right, so it's going to do it for this binder. Before we jump into my future binder, do y'all know what day it is? What day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> it's transfer thirsty for those of you that are new to my channel i recently began a new savings challenge it's solely determined on the amount of youtube likes i get for that current week's transfer thursday video then in the following week's video the amount of likes that i received on that video will be the dollar amount i transfer towards my down payment for a house so this saving challenge will help me to get closer to my goal of one day owning a house. And wow, you guys, you guys are the best. I had 77 likes, uh, four dislikes, boo, <laughs> for a total of $81 added towards my down payment this week. So thank you to everyone for liking the video and always commenting and showing your support on my channel. So I have the prop money here that I will be adding for this week. So we had 50, 70, 75, 76, and 77 for the lights. And then one, two, three, and four for the dislikes. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is uh, just transfer the money directly from my account into my brokerage account online. So that way I can go ahead and invest it and get some kind of return on my money. Because, um, yeah, <laughs> why not, right? <laughs> you guys, this prop money is like so crispy. I wish the bank's money was this crispy. <laughs> but we have now 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 217. 
wow you guys just in two weeks we've saved 217 dollars thank you so much you guys you are the bomb all right you guys it's a new week so you know what that means go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up you got it dude <laughs> see how many likes we can get for next week's transfer thursday transfer all right next up is my future binder First up is my bed, and bed is going to get $20. Alright, so it now has 50, 70, and 75. Alright, next up is health, and health will be getting $20. So health now has 50, 70, and 80. Alright, moving along into subscription. Subscriptions will also be getting $20. Alright, so now has 20, 40, and 60. Next up, we have football game, and um, yeah, they won this past weekend. Yeah, Russell Wilson, you did it. <laughs> it's gonna be getting fifty dollars, so it has one hundred and one fifty. And I have been thinking about this just because um, I'm not really sure if I am gonna be going up to watch the game this year, so I might actually put a um, a stop or a hold for that but we'll see. Next up is postage, and postage is gonna be getting $10. All right, so it now has 30. Next up, we have electronics. Actually, well, before electronics are my receipts. So I do actually have Fetch Rewards and it's basically a rewards app. You just scan your receipts and you can actually redeem it for gift cards. So I am planning to use some of this for Christmas gift cards this year. Um, and I'll leave my um, Fetch Reward um, code down below if you want to join. Next up is electronics and it's going to get $50. 20, 40 and 50. Electronics now has 120, 40, 60, 70, and 175. Which we are doing really well, you guys. I am saving up for an Apple Watch and an iPad. Alright, so next up is my three to six month expenses, and it's gonna get 150. I recently saw a video, um, Tanisha's video, she actually did like a whole layout of her three to six month expenses, so I'm thinking about doing a video like that. If you would like to see that, comment down below. But three to six month expenses now has 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 560. Next up is investments that I'm going to be adding 50. Alright, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And I think it's super important to just have a very diversified portfolio. Just don't keep all of your eggs in one basket. So at the end of the month, I usually add this into my investment brokerage account online. Uh, next up is rollover money. So at the beginning of the video, I put my rollover money from my cash envelopes on the side. So I'm going to be adding 50, 60, and 65 here. And then at the end of the month, I just add this to my um, debt snowball. And then we just add that payment to my care credit card. All right, next up is tip, tip money. And it's going to get $10. 
Uh, we actually haven't really been eating out again just because the restrictions here are so bad. But anyway, <laughs> 20 and 30. I know they are doing it just for, you know, the public's safety. So hopefully soon we can go out and eat again. All right, next up is taxes and taxes will be getting $20. And I just recently started this category because I just want to be prepared for this since tax season is right around the corner. So I have 10, 20, and 30. And I actually do my own taxes online. Next up is YouTube and YouTube will be getting 20 Zolas. Alright, the same thing it has 30, 10, 20, and 30. gonna do it for my future binder all right you guys that's gonna do it for today's video thank you all so much for watching if you made it this far into the video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and i will catch you all in my next video aloha take care